begging us to come back. Four, five, six, seven, eight. I always take care of my pace. Could be divided to twenty-four minus nine. My experience is that's why. Welcome to 2K Sports. We've got basketball. I'm Damon Bruce. As All-Star Weekend looms closer, the NBA pecking order is starting to reveal itself. It's going to be David Robinson and the San Antonio Spurs up against the Toronto Raptors. We'll catch up again at halftime. Friday evening coverage here on 2K Sports with Steve Kerr and Clark Kellogg. This is Kevin Harlan. It's East versus West here in Toronto. The Raptors hope to put on a show for their hometown fans. They beat the Spurs during their last encounter in San Antonio. And I thought there were some very creative things that they tried at the offensive end. They got great movement and spacing and really paid off for them. Well, me too, Steve. I mean, we both like to view ourselves as students of the game, and I was really impressed with a lot of the set plays they ran. They knew exactly how to attack that defense. Looking at the starting five for the San Antonio Spurs, brought to you by State Farm. Parker and Manu are the backcourt. Duncan out there with Robinson. And for the Raptors, they've got Carter. Charles Oakley out there with Tracy McGrady. And it's Camby, and it's Calderon in at the one. Now, here is Robinson. Over Camby. Robinson misses. On defense, San Antonio. They're coming off that win against Philadelphia. Well, it was a good win, but it has to be pointed out that they didn't get much resistance from the opposing defense. Yeah, to me, it looked like they were um, bamboozled and confused. I mean, they didn't seem to be very well prepared for what got thrown at them. And now Doris Burke has an update from the sidelines. Well, Kevin, Greg Popovich had a few moments to share with me. He loves this matchup and believes this game presents them with a great chance for an offensive explosion. I think our strengths offensively could pose major problems for them. We'll find out, Kevin. Wonderful stuff, Doris. Thanks. The early game plan, Clark, centered around their offense. It sounds like. Yeah, and I think that's fine as long as they don't sacrifice anything from an effort standpoint at the defensive end. Yeah, exactly. And I like the strategy, guys, because when you get off to a good start offensively, you feel good about yourselves. And generally, that energy carries over to the defensive end as well. Now, here is McGrady after David Robinson's miss. Mud Crady with the ball. He had 22 points in the win against Milwaukee. Robinson picks him up. Bunny shot. Offensive rebound. Canby kicks to Oakley. And he finishes nicely on the way. Oakley's got his first two points of the night. Not a fast start here for the Spurs. Still without a basket in the game. Calderon against Parker. Ginobili outside to stop the run. San Antonio again missing. It's been a quick start here for Toronto. They put up a nice win against the Bucks the last time out. And I love their aggressiveness going to the hoop. I mean, they drew a ton of fouls and got to the line. That, that, that gave them some easy points. Well, it's only, a, it, it's only halfway there if you get to the line and don't convert. You've got to do both, and they did. They got fouls, and they made foul shots. First 
No good there. He's unable to convert on the three-point play. And so here is San Antonio. Nine-point game. Out of bounds. And they'll keep possession. Here's Ginobili. 11 points last game. Outside for Robinson. Whoa! Now let's check out the Sprite Slam Cam. Well, they had to take the lid off the hoop, I guess, but they finally get one to go there. Yeah, a bit of an unsettled start. I mean, maybe that'll get them going. Now here is McGrady. Averaging 30 points per contest. Carter. Here's the three. Good. Carter's got eight. Tell you what, he's three or four now. Looks like his game's on offensively. And San Antonio calls the first time. The NBA. Number one, the Raptors. Kevin, if there's any stat you want to lead the league in, it would certainly be scoring the most points. They've been remarkable in the numbers they've put up as a team all season long. It's a reflection of their strength. They're balanced and they're explosive. Now here's Parker. Hits the leaner to fall. How often have we seen him, Kevin, create wide open chances for himself like that? Straight up. Vince Carter the bucket on the assist by Calderon. Ten points for Vince Carter. Now Genova. Right now averaging 15 points a game. Curve. He's guarded by Calderon. And he was fouled in the way. For three, Calderon. Good. And it's McCready who picks up the assist. Calderon's got his first three points of the game. Parker outside. Robinson backs down. Six to shoot. It's Ginobili outside. Once again off the mark by San Antonio. Raptors leading by 11. Vince Carter on the win. He's covered by Ginobili. And the Raptors tack on two more. Great start here early on. Taking a look at the Lakers. Here in the middle of the season, they're in great shape, sitting atop the conference. And, of course, the Spurs. They're sitting in third place. You know, checking out San Antonio, they've continued their outstanding play. I mean, they're definitely one of those teams that everybody has in their sights again this year. Well, you know, this is a team that doesn't have any glaring weaknesses. I mean, they're strong uh, across the board on that roster. And uh, I, I think as long as they stay solid and they stay healthy, uh, it wouldn't surprise me if they made a strong push into the playoffs. Tell you what, things just aren't bouncing his way this quarter. Carter is it to McGrady. Up with it. The dunk and the foul. A powerhouse move, and he's got a chance for one more at the line. Tim Duncan picks one up. And the Spurs making a change here. Warriors check in. as well it's pretty amazing how much more accessible the game is to fans than, than it was back when I played in the days of um, hot pants <laughs> again the miss by the Spurs boy even though he missed you can't give up that kind of a look very often yeah they're lucky that they didn't get burned on that one here's McGrady offensive rebound from deep Ginobili grabs the board. Spurs trail by 16. They've definitely hit that groove offensively. They sure have, guys. I mean, really aggressive. And I like that posture and mindset. Stay aggressive. Yeah. Steve, you like groove, don't you? I do. I love groove, Kevin. And I love the attack mode this team is in, too. I mean, they're really getting into the paint. They're getting whatever they want offensively. Going back to the all-digital distribution of the game, Steve, the NBA deserves credit for really staying on the cutting edge. Yeah, for sure. And then, you, know, you can see games now uh, in 3D. You can see it on your phones. You can see games on the Internet. It's just amazing 
uh, to think about the innovations uh, in technology that have taken place in the last decade and, and how they have affected our game. Now, Candy, Ginobili missing from long range. Impressive offensive execution to this point. That's what's gotten in this league. Well, it's paid off on the scoreboard, the fact that they've been together and productive offensively. Now, here is Robinson in the game against Philadelphia. Very impressive. Or Robinson against Camby. Shot to stop the drought. Ginobili can't get that one to fall. Raptors leading by 20. Takes it up. Free throw good, McGrady. Good on both. Here is Parker. He had 13 points in the win against the 76ers in Philadelphia. Ginobili outside. That doesn't go either by Ginobili. It's still early, but so far they've set the tone here with their rebound. Yeah, big margin for them early. They've been dominant on the glass. And the whistle blows. He decides to foul intentionally for some reason. Ah, I'm not sure why you would foul right there, Kevin. That's obviously not the smart thing to do, so a mistake there. Now, here is Robinson. Right now averaging 15 points a game. Great hands down low. Gets the take. Oh! oh they built an early lead here, really pushing ahead. Well, they've got a huge advantage points. Typical dunk. He dishes it to Calderon. Carter outside. Oh! 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 Clearly, he's one of the best rebounders we've got, guys, and his finishing ability, second to none. Well, his reputation precedes him in that regard, don't you think, Steve? Oh, yeah. I mean, that's just standard stuff for him. Parker kicks to Blair. Ginobili outside. Lock at six. Scooped up. And it's Carter picking him up. Here's Ori. Rebound by the Raptors. Difficult shot from mid-range, and the defense was all over. Boy, I like the close out there, Steve. Well done. Christie kicks to Johnson. 18 feet away. The rebound by Blair. Boy, they are not messing around here, guys. They are really banging the glass hard early on. Plus five margin already in rebounding, and it looks like this is going to be a factor all game. Here's Christie. Still looking to get on the scoreboard. The steal. Not rare to find yourself in the lead when you're turning the ball over like this. Oh! A little bit of a struggle defensively. They got to defend the hoop. I'm not sure they could have gotten there anyway. 103 left in the first quarter. Vince Carter on the win. Carter left side. Over Ginobili. And it's Carter missing. Well, that's definitely a good look. I mean, the defense. And Ginobili slams it home. 
Oh, he's got enough hang time there to put a little something extra on that one. Two scoops of ice cream after that. <laughs> well, that's a play that's going to be remembered from this game, that's for sure. I think that was more like a bout of energy uh, for both teams in this kind of situation, um, the offense and the defense. There's the pass to Christie. 13 feet out. Carter, that's good. Carter's got 22. This defense has been way too soft early on. They've got to start playing with some energy. You know, Steve, do something, anything to throw their shooters out of rhythm is what's got to happen here. Goes straight up, and he lays it straight in. Points in the paint have been the main course, or main entree, if you will. They just keep pounding it inside. Well, they're seeing no resistance defensively in the paint area, so the defense has got to be tougher. Pulls up, tight post. This is off the left iron. And the buzzer sounds. And the... Here's Christie. He's got eight. McGrady outside. Bargnani up top. The shot misses. Now San Antonio the other way. Guys, uh, they've been getting it done. They sure have been. I mean, really looking good and sharp offensively. Yeah, knocking down the open shots and really getting a nice flow to their game. Here's Christie. Averaging six points per contest. Back in and down is Johnson. Shoots from the right block. And it's the Spurs with the ball. Puts up the baby hook. DeRozan with it. Got a piece of it. The finish. And Ginobili slams it home. While we've got a sec, let's check out the Sprite Slam Cam. Yes, indeedy. Boy, I love that one. That's not just any plain dunk. That has some panache to it. That's an energizer, guys. That, that is an energizer. That is, and that will lift the whole team up. McGrady against Elliott. And the officials whistle a foul on the shot. The bucket's good. He'll go to the line. First personal foul. Team's first. Free throw good. McGrady. There's Ginobili. He's got 10. Here is Elliott. Robinson backs down. Takes the turnaround J, and Bargnani sends it back. They're making this a runaway. Now, the only question now is how big will this lead eventually become? I mean, this is a blowout. I don't like that shot at all, guys. I'm right with you, Steve. Certainly, when you talk about shot selection, that's as poor as it gets. And that one's good. McGrady. McGrady's got nine. Defense wasn't able to get back fast enough to contest. Well, they were caught flat-footed after committing the turnover that time, guys. Now Robinson. He's got nine. Just five to shoot. A ten-footer. Johnson can't hit. Another board for them, and they've got a huge advantage in that regard. Yeah, it's not really a surprise. I mean, rebounding one of the true barometers in winning basketball games, and if you rebound better, you typically are going to win ball games and do it comfortably. He's really starting to ramp it up now, getting involved in the offense here after being held with... Here's DeRozan. He's coming off a 19-point game against Milwaukee. But Trey, it's hauled in by Tony Parker. Parker's got three rebounds so far in the game. And so they foul intentionally. Free throw good by Parker. You got to get down and dirty and do the dirty work. And in this one, they've done it, and it's paid off on the scoreboard in a big way. Picked off in midair. Unnecessary pass there. He's got to make a better decision. And it's Mono Ginobili with the finish. That's what he does. Attack the heart of the defense and get straight to the rim. 
Clark, one thing we've seen from these guys is excellent ball movement. And you love to see that, Kevin. I mean, I love watching unselfish play, and I know Steve enjoys that, too. Yeah, that's the best part of the game. I mean, a five-man team game where the ball moves has so much unselfish play. It's beautiful to watch. From downtown, and that one's good. McGrady. McGrady's got ten points in the quarter. And what an incredible quarter he's having. He's unstoppable right now. Now the feed to Blair. And Bargnani picks him up defensively. Blair can't hit. Well, sometimes he really lacks the confidence he needs when he's driving to the basket. Here's McGrady. It's off. So as we get... From the 2K Sports Studios, it's the HP Halftime Report. They're at the break out at Air Canada Center, and it's turning into a blowout. The Raptors are making it look easy so far. They look to continue their winning streak. Vince Carter not having much difficulty scoring against San Antonio. He has 24 points and digging in on defense as well, putting in good work on both ends of the floor. Now for the Spurs, not looking as good so far. They've struggled with their three-point shooting. Just one of those days where the shots aren't falling. Not a great game for Manu Ginobili so far. His shot has been a wall lately. Still on the run in this one. A lot of space between the two sides on the scoreboard, but these two have showed up early. A lot in the NBA to catch up on. Well, we're getting back to the action now. It's been a one-team show so far. We'll see if that changes here in the third. Here's McGrady. They've got Calderon. Can't be out there with Oakley. Then it's Tracy McGrady. And it's Carter in at the two. They're the group for Dwayne Casey starting the second half. Back to Ginobili. He passes to Robinson. Shoots from 12. Rebound by the Raptors. Oakley's got four rebounds in this game. Calderon kicks to Carter. Ginobili gets the reach-in call. That is his first foul of the game. Stolen by Ginobili. Great defensive work right there. The quick hands lead to the turnover. And uh, everybody's kind of looking at him like, what are you doing? I mean, I, I think he just lost track of the situation. And here is Parker. by Carter. Guys, you take a look at that box score. Oh! Oh, 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 man! Big time action. Like Sam can once again. That's worthy of a standing O for the deserve a little special treatment for that one. Fellas, fellas, just sit down. Let's leave it to the fans, all right? Settle down. <laughs> it's Ginobili outside. That's good. Ginobili's got 15 points. Probably time to bring an extra defender, change up the defense a little bit. Well, Steve, he's been so good. I think they got to take the ball out of his hands right now. McGrady passes to Kim. Moving the ball. Here's Carter. Goes up. The basket drops, and he gets fouled on the shot. One free throw coming his way. Boy, they keep going inside offensively, and guys, they've been very aggressive here. He's got huge advantage in points in the paint, and I think the defense has to make an adjustment to protect the middle. What a great game for Vince Carter in this one. He has 29 points, and check out his steal. Very active hand. But what impresses me most about his defense, Clark, is his anticipation. I mean, he is one step ahead of everybody else. Goes up. Marvelous lead pass, and he throws it down. And in the defender's face a bit. Look out below. I wasn't sure he was ever going to come down. <laughs> he just wanted to make sure he wasn't coming down on top of anybody. So he gets the whistle. Contact on the way up. Tell you what, they were in full attack mode there on that fast break. 
I agree with you, Steve. I mean, they got right after it. Here's Christie. Backing him down is Johnson. Oh, yes, the turnaround. And that's smart. You, you know you're at a disadvantage size-wise, so use your skill. Knock down that turnaround jump. Johnson kicks to Duncan. Johnson on him. Puts it up. And there's the rejection. They're really hurting with his performance here. He just hasn't played up to his standard so far. Here's Bargnani. No what? Now San Antonio the other way. Johnson outside. Or Toronto grabs the miss. Here's Christie. Back to Johnson. Over Robinson. And the Raptors tack on two more. You know, this has been his quarter here. Still hasn't missed the mark yet. Johnson outside from 17 feet out. And Robinson that time on the assist by Johnson. Johnson's got three assists now in this one. Back to Johnson. Ori with the rebound. Well, he was going to have to get lucky to make that one. Young fella, I think there was a much better option available that time. And the shot is good. Got to be very careful with this team. They can be really strong inside if they get good position. Well, you give up that kind of deep position, Steve. Uh, you're done. It's over. He feeds it to move. From past the arc. Can't get it to go. How's San Antonio the other way? Here's Ginobili. Terrific assist. A nice finish. Sucks. We got the playoff for Here's what Toronto's going with right now. Marcus Camby. He's checked in for Bargnani. McGrady comes in for Jamari Omu. Vince Carter, he's checked in for Jamar DeRozan. And Jared Bayless subbed in for Christian. Can be no luck. Clark, you're right, going back to those veteran teams last season, the Spurs knocked out in the first round, Celtics and Lakers beaten convincingly. In the second round, Steve, uh, uh, major statements made in both conferences. Yeah, it seems like uh, last year was almost a, a changing of the guard type season uh, in the NBA, Kevin. You had the the older teams, as you mentioned, like the Celtics and Lakers and Spurs, going out relatively early in the playoffs. And then some of the younger groups, you know, whether it was Oklahoma City or Chicago or Miami, really coming to the forefront. And I think over the next decade, you know, we're definitely looking at, at a brand new kind of regime change in the NBA. Ginobili with the three. That doesn't go either by Ginobili. And Toronto has possession. And it's good. Three contact gets the shot out first. Sean Elliott. That's good from Carter. I'm asking the same question myself, partner. I mean, that's eight points out of the last ten coming inside. Whoops, anticipated the pass. Turnover. I'm not sure what they're thinking offensively. Poor decision on that pass. Well, that's great. You take advantage of that turnover and convert at the other end. Absolutely. I mean, points off turnovers this time generated off the steal. Carter outside. Picked up by Ginobili. Another steal. Boy, you got to love that kind of anticipatory defense. Here's Robinson. Good. 20 points for him. Well, you've got to get the ball out of his hands. Bring an extra defender and force somebody else to beat you. I agree with you. Make him give it up. Man, he's got a lot of firepower right now. I mean, what a half he's had. First foul, George Durbin. That's his first personal foul. Watch out for low run for cover, young fella. Well, maybe the play of the game right there. An alley-oop slam is always going to be at the top of the list there, Clark. Yeah. You're right. Yeah. Too easy to steal it. And so Toronto takes this one, but by a big margin.
W-E. Some call me awesome, some call me busy. Call me awesome, gator on my shirt. What did it look awesome? I'm good, please don't cross some. How rude. Stephanie Hannah, you don't gotta watch me, but please watch your manners. And I be getting green, so mean. Bruce Banner, get the glow and presence, man. I'm the new Santa, and uh, I'm saying, can't